written by Dr. Sanjay Kolte, CEO of Pune Smart City Limited, for sharing his vision. A huge round of applause for him, please. Honorable dignitaries, uh, good evening to all. Uh, since uh, uh, Honorable Principal Secretary and all other earlier esteemed speakers have already thrown light on major aspects of sustainable water management, and uh, Pune Municipal Corporation and uh, Smart City are in the midst of implementation of uh, their equitable water supply 24 by 7 project. I think th this was a very good opportunity for us to uh, uh, take away, uh, get the takeaways from today's session and use them in uh, implementation of our project so that the expected sustainability is brought about uh, in implementation of uh, this project. I'll, I'll be very brief, I'll just uh, uh, tell the important uh, features of uh, this project. Uh, equitable water supply 24 by 7 project. Uh, it is uh, for the pan city at the pan city level and for the old city limits of Pune city. As you all know, 33 villages have recently been inducted into the city and the area has been uh, almost doubled now. But the only old uh, city has been uh, taken up for this project. Uh, the area is almost 253 square kilometers and the, the five water, water treatment plant zones uh, of the city which are divided into 141 water supply zones and 368 uh, district metered areas. Uh, so far, 12 uh, water supply zones works have been completed uh, in all aspects and uh, implementation of this project have been, has been started uh, on the pilot scale. And uh, I would like to share some of the experience, experiences which we have encountered uh, on this, uh, in, the, in this area of uh, 12 water supply zones. As the earlier speakers had already point, pointed out, the usage of water and the judicious use of water is very important. We may bring about the technology and all the technological features which the Snyder presentation had uh, mentioned are very much part of the project of uh, Pune Municipal Corporation. However, the use of water and the public participation and the public awareness about judicious use of water is very important. That is what we have observed in the 12 water supply zones where the project has, is being implemented on uh, pilot scale. And uh, there we have, uh, to our surprise, we have observed that the UFW percentage is increasing drastically in, in those zones. Because uh, we have not yet implemented the metered uh, water supply uh, of the, or AMR part of the project has not been implemented since the public body is also not in position and to take the decision for the pan city level uh, which will be taken up only after the uh, local body is restored. So uh, we have observed that UFW percentage in fact increasing in the area which we, we are uh, taken up, we have taken up for this uh, pilot scale. And uh, there is uh, quite a resistance in this area about for, for implementation of the uh, AMR or automatic meter reading. And so a uh, lot of public awareness and initial uh, uh, citizen engagement and these uh, sort of activities will have to be uh, necessarily taken in this area to, uh, as the earlier uh, Mr. Mahajan said, we will have to take the, on board the people and all the stakeholders, then only uh, the projects of this kind and the projects related to water sustainability can be uh, taken through and uh, they can be uh, successful. Uh, uh, these are the things. Uh, here uh, another uh, innovative aspect of uh, project is we have uh, established our resources, uh, we have built up the resources or the fund resources by uh, bonds, raising bonds uh, for implementation of this project. 200 crores have been raised by uh, bringing about the bonds, uh, water bonds and uh, the funds which will be required in future. I think we are planning to uh, implement another one or two more phases of uh, calling the uh, bonds for raising the financial resources. That is another aspect uh, which, which can be uh, uh, as taken up as a best practice. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, the technology part uh, will be there to ensure that the water efficiency, the energy efficiency and uh, improve, improving the car, uh, going towards the carbon neutrality uh, will be taken care of in due course with uh, concerted efforts of uh, the citizen engagement, the judicious use of water and uh, uh, all other uh, aspects of sustainability uh, will have to be uh, focused in order to uh, make this project a success. That is what I want to mention. Thank Thanks, uh, Dr. Sanjay Koltep, uh, CEO of Pune Smart City Limited. 
Uh, if I take a crux of what you have said, that technology is going to play an important role for water management, but taking people into confidence and making them partner uh, for sustainable water management, that is also important. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sanjay Kolte. Thank you.